Hi Econ students and welcome back. Today's topic, elasticity. For today, we will focus on a specific type of elasticity, known as income elasticity of demand. The income elasticity of demand can be defined as follows. The income elasticity of demand is a measure on how sensitive consumers are to a change in income, which in turn affects the demand. This elasticity measures or investigates the relationship between income and the quantity demand of a product. The calculated income elasticity of demand value will help us to differentiate whether we are dealing with a normal good or an inferior good. For additional examples and explanations on the difference between inferior and normal goods, please be sure to watch my previous explainer video. In order to calculate our income elasticity coefficient, we will use the following formula. Please note that this is the ARC formula, which we will use for today. EY, which is our elasticity coefficient, is equal to the change in quantity divided by the change in income. We will therefore have quantity 2 minus quantity 1 divided by quantity 1 plus quantity 2. And we will divide this entire part by our income 2 minus income 1 divided by income 1 plus income 2. If your calculated value is positive, this indicates that we are dealing with a normal good. For a normal good, an increase in income will lead to an increase in the quantity demand. If you obtain a calculated elasticity coefficient, which is greater than one, we know that we are dealing with a luxury good. But if you calculate a positive coefficient value, which is less than one, we know that we are dealing with a necessity. However, if your calculated value is negative, this indicates that you are dealing with an inferior good. For an inferior good, an increase in income will lead to a decrease in the quantity demand. An easy way to remember inferior goods are to think of them as your plan B good. A practical example includes Crazy Store. If your income increases, you would rather buy your Tupperware from Woolworths. However, if your income decreases, then you would move your demand for Tupperware to Crazy Store. In order to explain the concept of inferior good, let's look at a quick example. Consider the following household, where the parents are hard at work to think on the perfect gift for their daughter's sixth birthday. The parents decide that the perfect gift for their daughter would be a dog. She always wanted an English bulldog, but this depends on the income of our household. If our household income increases, this means that they can buy their daughter this beautiful English bulldog. However, in the circumstance where their income decreases, the demand for this beautiful bulldog will also decrease. However, the demand for this little dog will increase. From our example, the English Bulldog is a normal good, or a luxury good, which illustrates an increase in income will lead to an increase in the quantity demand. The inferior good in this example is therefore the Chihuahua, indicating or illustrating when income decreases, only then will the demand for this dog increase. Now it's time to look at some practical examples. Grab your notes, your pen and calculator and do the following with me. For example one, you are given the following information. When income increases from 12,000 to 20,000, the quantity demanded by the consumer for a product decreases from 150 units to 120 units. In order to calculate our income elasticity of demand, we will use our ARC formula. We will therefore substitute the correct values into our given formula. Please note that both of the provided formulas are exactly the same. In order to provide a better explanation, we will use the second formula to calculate elasticity. 
EY is therefore equal to quantity 2 minus quantity 1 divided by quantity 1 plus quantity 2. This giving us 120 minus 150 divided by 150 plus 120. And we will divide this by our income, which is 20,000 minus 12,000 y2 minus y1. And we will divide this by 12,000 plus 20,000, our y1 plus our y2. This giving us a final value of EY, our elasticity, equal to minus 0 0.44. A calculated negative income elasticity coefficient therefore indicates that we are dealing with an inferior good. Great work! Now let's look at our second example. When income increases from 10,000 to 18,000, the quantity demanded by the consumer for a product increases from 50 units to 120 units. In order to calculate our income elasticity, we will use the ARC method. By substituting the correct values into our equation, we will have the following. EY is equal to 120 minus 50 divided by 50 plus 120. We will then divide this entire part by 18,000 minus 10,000 divided by 10,000 plus 18,000, where the first part of our equation represents the quantity and our second part, income. The final value is therefore EY equal to 1.44. The positive value indicates that we are dealing with a normal good. Remember that if we calculate a positive value which is greater than 1, this indicates that we are dealing with a luxury good. If our value was positive but smaller than 1, that would have indicated that we were dealing with a necessity. And that concludes our video for today. If you want more explainer videos with step-by-step -step calculation examples, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next time.